I thought you guys would never stop running. Say what you will about the end of the world. It sure as hell whipped people into shape. But now that that's over with, I'm gonna need you all to get on your knees. Now. Good. Now that I've got your attention, which one to use the leader? You. Well, hello there. I'm Desmond. And I hate to stop you and your people here with a bunch of guns pointed at you, but I have a problem. You see, a few weeks ago, one of my scouts told me about a little community of survivors they spotted nearby. Now, of course, I wanted to make a good first impression, so I sent a few of my men to say hi and to welcome y'all to the neighborhood. I also sent them to collect a little payment for using our land. Nothing unreasonable. Firewood, first aid kits, maybe any extra guns you had lying around. So when my men returned, I'm sure you can imagine how surprised I was to see that not only did they not come back with my payment, but they both came back missing all their fingers. <laughs> you guys literally sent them back empty-handed. But here's the thing. I tried to give you guys a warm welcome into my house, and you repaid me by beating up my family. Not cool. So not cool. You are so gonna regret that in a few seconds. What? Extortion? No, mm -mm. that is an ugly word. I wasn't extorting you, it was protection. All I asked for was a little payment every now and then to make sure that your community stays safe. That's how things are gonna work from now on. You have stuff, half of it belongs to me. If that means you don't have enough for yourself, too bad, you still give it to me. Because if you don't, I'll come collect what I'm owed and I'll kill one of you for putting me through the trouble. You could think of it as taxes. You folks didn't pay your taxes. There's gotta be consequences. Now, normally I just kill one of you and be done with it, but I get this is your first time meeting me and we got off on the wrong foot. So I'll tell you what, instead, I'm just gonna make it even. I'm gonna do to you the same thing you did to my men. One of you is about to lose all their fingers. One more of you won't be going back home. Instead, you'll be my prisoner. That's fair, right? An eye for an eye. Now you guys told me this gorgeous woman was your leader. So I'll tell you what, I'll let her decide who's losing their fingers and who's coming back with us. So leader, who's losing their fingers? Aw, oh, look at all these terrified people watching that gorgeous face of yours. I can tell you guys must have been through a lot together. Man, this must be an impossible decision for you to make. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll decide for you. Eeny, meeny, miny. Him. Hold him still. Good, now hand me the knife. There we go. Now cauterize the wound. Make sure he doesn't bleed out. Wow, gorgeous. I don't think I like that look you're giving me. You look like you want to kill me. I bet you do, but there's no point in being angry about it now because you still have one last decision to make. Who's coming back as my prisoner? You. You'll be the prisoner. <laughs> Ain't that sweet, sacrificing yourself for your friends. You know what? I like that. All right then, the rest of you guys are free to go, but your leader is coming with me. Oh, and I'll be sending more men to your community to pick up that payment. 
only I expect a little extra for the inconvenience. I'd hate to have to go through all this unpleasantness again. Hello, gorgeous. How are you enjoying your stay so far? Well, if you want your friends to stay alive in their cozy little camp, you'll get used to it. Speaking of which, that was really impressive back there. Sacrificing yourself for your friends, that takes... guts. I respect it. Sure, you don't care about what I think of you. Your point is well taken. But I'm not sure that insulting me is the smartest thing given your current position. Wait, no, don't, don't go. Just stay here a while. Look, the reason why I let you out of your cell is because I wanted to talk. Just hear me out, and then you can decide if I'm as bad as you say. Just look around you. We've got electricity, clean clothes, food that didn't come out of a can. Everyone's having a good time. Now, after the world went to hell, everyone thought this stuff was gone forever. But I managed to build it here. Do you want to know how? It's by making sure that everyone knows their place. Whatever, you can think I'm a monster if you want. But we've all got a job to do. Now, I know last night was unpleasant, but I gave your people a job. And they decided to step out of line. And just like when before the world fell apart, when people step out of line, there's got to be consequences. Now back to my point. I doubt your people are going to respond well to what I did to them last night. And I would really hate to have to kill them all. After all, they're more useful to me alive than dead. But if they try to get revenge or rescue you, that's what's going to have to happen. Unless you do something about it. How? You're their leader. I could tell by the way their terrified faces were looking at you that that group of survivors respects and looks up to you. So I'll tell you what. I need people like you. So while you're here, you're going to help turn my little community into an empire. And in exchange, as long as they keep paying their taxes and don't try anything funny, nothing bad happens to your people. Deal? Good girl. We start tomorrow then.